Now we're going to talk about percent error and percent yield, and they're related, and you'll see how they're related. Uh, let's start with our percent yield. So percent yield, you take the value that you got in the lab, experimental value, divided by the actual value, the accepted value, multiply that by 100 percent yield. It tells you how much you got of what you should have gotten, how close you were to that full 100%. Uh, let's do just a super, super easy example. Let's say that you had 80 grams, you collected 80 grams of magnesium oxide and you should have collected 100 grams. From stoichiometry, you know that you should have had 100 grams. Uh, take that, times it by 100, and you had an 80 percent yield, 80 percent yield. Now to contrast that, we're going to do percent error. This is how wrong you were, how far away you were from the accepted value. So percent error, notice the only difference if you compare this formula to this formula is you subtract the actual value from the experimental. That right there gives you the error. That's how far off you were, subtracting actual from experimental. Also notice absolute value. So we're always going to have a positive value, okay? That you're going to do absolute value here. So actual minus experimental divided by actual times 100. Let's use this same example right here. If the actual uh, value was 100 minus the experimental value, we collected 80 grams of magnesium sulfate, put that in uh, absolute value divided by the actual times 100. Now, what I want you to see on this, 80 minus 20, or excuse me, 100 minus 80 is 20. That was the error. There were 20 grams that my technique was not correct. I lost 20 grams. Um, so that was my error right there. Now, if we do the math, check it out. This is going to equal 20% error. And notice the correlation. We had an 80% yield. I bet right now you just had that aha moment of, ah, oh, when you add percent yield plus percent error, that's 100%. Um, this is how close you were, and this is how far off you were from the actual value. All right, thank you.